difficult couple of years for me personally. I'm a team player, I always have been. Okay. Okay, Joe Hart, okay, okay, dude, relax. What does the fastest goalkeeper in the game look like? Damn, he's fast. Freaking love Duncan guy. <laughs> the first thing you need to know about Joe Hart before getting the SBC done and getting him in your squad is you need to know you're injecting probably an excessively alpha male in your squad. And you also need to know that he's, that he's always going to want the ball. You always give Joe Hart the ball. Or he's probably he's probably actually going to turn into a worse keeper. If you don't give him the ball when he asks for it, I think there's probably something in game that makes him give up and like you're going to concede. Actually, that's not true because he's such an alpha. He wouldn't stoop down to that level. Give that fucking ball! Do his way view on him, which you just let the opponent shoot at him multiple times in different situations. Then second game, play him up front alongside Smaldini. You're welcome. Kind of like it. Kind of like the idea, Ayush. Pull something, boys, and welcome to the 91 Flashback Joe Hart Players Way View Episodia. That is right, we're taking a look at a goalkeeper today. It's the first time since I believe it was Pope when they gave him the five-star skill skill moves last year. Uh, we're taking a look at a goalkeeper. With first SBC card, I believe, that has come out as a goalkeeper as well. Um, and uh, I don't know how to feel about it. He's 100,000 coins so because, you know, a fodder is super, super expensive. I think he'd probably be around 60, 70 if it weren't for the insane price of fodder. He's 91, but the question is this guy exists and if 84 nicholas pope who has been the bane of my existence and has caused me so much torment in weekend league and all the other game modes you play a lot of you guys out there can relate and understand what i'm talking about 84 nicholas pope is he any better than a nicholas pope that costs about 60 or 70 thousand coins so that's what we're going to find out today uh if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below if you guys think that this joe hart flashback uh a goalkeeper spc is kind of fun and would kind of like to see more goalkeepers i'd like to see that i want to see another goalkeeper i mean he's kind of unusable because he's got the one star skill moves but uh i don't know i think it'd be kind of fun to get some more um not just defensive but more goalkeepers uh involved in some of the sbc options smash like if you agree with me smash like if you're an absolute mad lad smash like if you also love duncan kid hey joe hart let's go mess up some smat kids but anyway, boys, we're about to dive right into it. It's obviously turning into one of the best, one of the best rated cards. Whether he plays good in game, we're about to find out. One star skill move, three star weak foot. He's six foot, uh, six foot five. He is interestingly enough one of the fastest keepers in the game. I think he's the second fastest keeper after that Spanish inform in La Liga. Uh, forgetting what his name is, but he is one of the faster keepers in the game. So we're gonna test that out. He's got 68 acceleration, 72 sprint speed, which is very very fast. Uh, 90 positioning. He's got 93 reflexes with 80 uh, goal uh, with. Kick Kicking, punching, he's probably pretty good at, to be fair. Uh, 89 handling, and then 85, uh, sorry, 86 uh, diving, and he is cautious with crosses and also screams for the ball trade. So um, we're going to find out if he, we're going to find out if he's worth it, all right? So 82 small Dini, we're going to see if he's actually better than the uh, what if card, because I have a theory that he is. We're going to use this guy, Diata. I'm currently 11 and 4 in weekend league, and Diata has been incredible for me on the wing. We're going to try and maybe even let our opponents come in on goal and try to get goal scoring opportunities and see if maybe there's something about Joe Hart because you know he's intimidating I'm not gonna lie watching him was scary like even as a neutral watching him was scary dude like that meme where he's screaming give me the ball we even had that sound effect in uh, in FIFA videos in, in in FIFA 16 and 17 he's just an intimidating intimidating card I wonder if the if that mentality for those of the people that watch Joe Hart in his playing days I wonder if that actually affects the way that someone is when they're like on a breakaway one-on-one -on -one in net today we find out <laughs> Okay, okay, Joe Hart, okay, okay, dude, relax. Oh, Jesus, it's not, okay, I'm scared on the controllers. Is he taking over? Am I controlling this game? How, what's the, what does the fastest goalkeeper in the game look like? Damn, he's fast. Oh, only has one-star skill move, though. Oh, he's scared. Oh, he's terrified. Look at Joe Hart. The amount of memes that we have on the channel right now. We have Lucas Unlucky Leva. We've got Joe, give me the freaking ball, uh, Hart. He's got Maradona, dude. You wanna know what? He has one-star skill moves, right? Look, he, he actually does move kind of fast, man. Oh. oh, you can't send a keeper on a run. What did I tell you? Maldini. Crependiata? <laughs> the Crependiata. The Crependiata Burbaspin. Look at that. He's got the lean body type. He's got the exact same body type as um, 
has the exact same body type as Elsha. I mean, that's Diego Armando Maradona. I, I can't expect. I can't expect Joe Hart to. I will say this though. Joe Hart's probably pissed. Okay. Joe. Okay. Relax, bro. I'll give you the ball. Jesus. Okay. Can I? Can I make a pass at least? Can you do an outfield? Can Can I make Joe Hart run? No, you can't. Yeah. If you do L one. Yeah. So what are the pluses? Obviously, ninety one rated. Has some really nice stats. Um. Fastest goalkeeper in the game. Uh, second fastest goalkeeper in the game. So that's cool. Like, it's, uh, I guess that's novel. Whatever, I'm not really sure you, you need, like, sprint speed in, uh, as a keeper. Um, but, I mean, for me, the reason you wouldn't do it is because of Nick Pope. Now, granted, the SBC is about 90k, right? It's about 90 to 100k. Nick Pope is about, like, 75. You know, weekend league, if you're trying to pick him up before weekend league, I think man is... I think he's... he's... He's about the price of the SBC if you don't if you don't include the uh, the inflated price of uh, fodder. Now look at that, Chris Smaldini. That's not even his what if. Body paint. And then the chip. Yo, you want to know what I'm getting? You know what I'm getting? I'm getting Moses Daddy Simon vibes from Crepin. Let him through on that. Let him through on that with Diego Armando Maradona. Mad. The thing you want to do with Joe Hart is you want to be spamming triangle. You want to spam triangle and get him uh, get him in front of your opponents. Yo. Okay, we we gotta give him we gotta give him points for that save right there. He 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 does a really good job of getting big. You know, I usually just have um, look at Frankie Ribs. Hey, by the way, shout out Leroy Fair, getting the upgrade. He's going to go up to 87. S scored six goals today. So it just took one game to do it. Uh, Tavernier, um, Rangers beat uh, St. Mirren, who interestingly enough, St. Mirren are the only team to beat Rangers in the Scottish Premier League this season. Uh, Rangers have um, obviously got themselves the four wins in a row, so Tavernier's card is going to get the upgrade. And then also, Bayer Leverkusen kept a clean sheet, which is something super, super rare. Um... And uh, he is going to get himself the upgrade as well. So just uh, just a little bit of information for some of you guys that needed to know it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Dude. Oh. Relax, bro. Stop screaming at me, dude. I can only handle so much. <laughs> Joe Hart, dude. Here's here's my theory on Joe Hart. FIFA's a mental game, man. FIFA's a mental game as much as as it is skill based, right? I mean, how do you how do you rate a keeper? I mean, like, yeah, he made a couple good saves, but I mean, if I intentionally let him through on net, I mean, there's a pretty good chance, a pretty good chance he's converting, you know. I mean, like, Maradona Maradona just is going to score that. Good save. Not even the skill move I was trying to do. To get this Joe Hart card, you know what? You really need to be... Because, right, like, get 84 Pope. You don't need anything more than 84 Pope. Or, like, to be honest with you, a keeper either works or he doesn't. You know, Manuel Neuer, for example... Like, I find no need to have a, a goalkeeper other than him. You, you find that one keeper in whichever league you're running, and then just run him for the rest of the game. It really doesn't matter. So I think, did we get a Hattie with him? Yeah, we got a Hattie with Crependiata. He was absolutely incredible for us. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, Joe Hart was good. He was very scary, to be honest with you. 7.1 for Joe Hart. We obviously intentionally, uh, you know, put him in uh, some un unfortunate situations. But, uh, let's see. How does Joe, here's here's the test of a real teammate. How does how, how does Joe Hart react when your teammate scores? Give that fucking ball. Here's a fun little fact. Uh, Joe Hart is so fast he can barely stop. <laughs> Look how fast. 
And then take a look at Crependiata, man. Jeez, the lean body type. Okay, Joe, listen, Joe, my guy, I'll, I'll listen, here's here's the thing. How about this, Joe, at the start of every game, can I give you the ball and then you just don't scream, give me the ball for the rest of the game? Can, can we reach a middle ground? Give that fucking ball! Okay. All right, I'm not doing this. I, I'm not going to do him on the RTG. He's, it's, it's, it's too mentally draining. The man moves. Oh, he... si esto termina mal. Si esto termina mal, al arquero se lo van a comer vivo. He's 150k. Just get Joe. Just get Pope. He's got, he's got yellow boots. That's another thing. Yellow boots with yellow gloves. Joe. A keeper's either very good or just not good enough. If I'm playing poorly, I feel like I'm letting Joe Hart down, and that affects me in a negative way. Um, that same. Uh, that same um, mentality, there's probably a lot of guys out there that get intimidated when they see a Joe Hart. They're like, oh, bo oh boy. Like, we're, we're coming up against the guy who's going to be screaming at me the entire game. Alright, that's a decent save. I mean, Kreps doesn't have the best, right? He doesn't have finesse shot or uh, distance shooting, so that's not the best guy to take a long shot with. But we are, we are testing him. Okay, here we go. One on one. That, that's Wayne Rooney with like 99 finishing. He freaked Wayne Rooney out. He got in his head. He heard the meme. He's, you just gotta, you gotta smash yellow, dude. I'm, I'm telling you. That was a really nice save. Look at your heart. Look. I think 150k for me is just, uh, it's a little bit too, it's a little bit too rich for a keeper. How many days is he here for? Flashback Joe Hart, and it's 13 days, so it's two weeks. That kind of changes things a little bit. He's there for two weeks, you can grind towards him. You know what, I gotta give it a two and a half out of five, just because 84 Pope exists and other keepers are probably just as good as him. So I'm gonna give it two and a half, I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I will say three and a half out of five. He was a good keeper. That 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 ribbery set piece save is just gonna that's probably gonna be the replay that lives on in my mind. There's something about his like alphaness in game. Maybe it's just me being a beta. Uh the alphaness just like attacking, attacking, and like he's just so scary. I I just can't I can't get it out of my head. Okay. Part of the reason that I'm giving him somewhat favorable re uh, reviews is because he's just so scary to me. I just want this, I want this episode to end. Because I just I want it to end because I'm supposed to have a nice relaxing night tonight and and I can't because this is just such an uh, this card makes me uncomfortable. There's never been a card like this that makes me super uncomfortable. But that's gonna do it for the players' way of view episode. Again, if you have a keeper that you like that's playing well for you, you don't need to do Joe Hart. 150, save yourself the 150, 175,000 coins. If you're an English national team supporter, if you ever liked him at Torino or Manchester City or Spurs, I suppose. Um, don't even think he's played a game for Spurs. G uh, you know, go ahead and unlock this uh, little Joey Hart uh, to your heart's content. Didn't even mean to do that. But anyway, boys, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. Yeah. Smash like if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.